Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Jude from Happiness and Crafting So today I'm going to be using some of the papers that we did um, in the last video um, Some of the lovely um, aged and textured papers um, And I'm going to make one of these sort of like little um, It can be a journal topper, it can be a card topper, it can be on a big tag, whatever you like But I'm going to show you how I've done it They are really, really lovely um, I've made a little tag here out of the papers as well um, I've just got this lovely image which is um, from my stash and it is rice paper like a little um, girl's face and it's really really pretty um, and I've got a little bit of tape on there, a bit of book paper a little bow, I've got a little sort of like dingly dangly on this one um, which I think is really really pretty so the papers are really nice um, to make sort of vintage style I've also used the papers as well on this one um, I did a little bit of stamping on there as well put one of my little embellishments on there a couple of mini postcards a little dingly dangly on there um, and then I've just filled it with some bits of paper and then I've just stuck some like little bits of tape and little odd bits of paper that were left um, over um, which I think looks really nice. So it's just like a little random um, booklet, notebook, little journal where you can pop into a bigger journal um, on there. So I think that it's really nice. These ones are going to be in my new words and phrases that's going to be coming out soon. So this is really nice. Um, so I've had some fun doing that, but these are lovely really really nice and what I've used on these as well I've used the little flowers that we made the other day um, and I've also used some of these these are my collage paper pieces um, I'll pop the link down to those because they're really handy as well and I've just got some little photos from my stash as well which I'm going to use this one is from the Friday freebie so you can all get hold of this um, image that's the one that I did on the big tag as well so I think that's really nice so it's just bits of lace um, bits of paper it's just sort of like a collage effect on there um, I've been making a couple of these little books as well um, and this is what I thought they would I would put them onto um, that's why I made them and I think that would look really really lovely um, so we've got that one which is in the greens and we've got this one which is sort of in the blues which I think are really nice as little um, journal toppers so I'm going to show you how I did it anyway um, quite simple so I'm just going to take a piece of this so this is the paper that we were using this is a piece of card so maybe I will use that so I want to make it roughly the same sort of size as this so we want to sort of like I'm going to just sort of trim it down now let's see if I will be able to tear it let's pop that on there oh yeah there we go just tear that down so it's the right sort of size because we want it the size that would fit onto the front of a journal like that which is really nice or as I said you can pop them on um, some greeting cards if you want to make some lovely um, vintage greeting cards you can do that so I'm going to pop that down I'm going to take this image here um, and then I'm going to take some of these pieces here so I've got the blues and the greens and I've also got the like the vintagey style um, colours as well from the um, collage pack so I'm going to use these and I'm just going to just layer them up I'm not quite sure which way around that goes I think it's that way just make a little sort of collage behind it to pop this picture on like that which I think looks really nice let's have a look let's see if we could pop a little bit of this in there as well that would look quite nice I might just just tear that down pop these on these ones I did sew on here around there I did some lovely blue um, cotton on there but I'm not going to sew on this one because a lot of you I know don't have sort of sewing machines so you um, it's nice to um, see things which haven't been sewn as well so I'm just going to just add some little bits and pieces to this like that 
And I'm going to use this little flower. So that's another little flower that we used, that I made in the last little project. So I am just going to stick them down. Now I'm going to use, where's my, I'm going to use this frayed burlap. Now I'm quite liking this colour at the moment. This is one of the oxides. This is the oxide ink, distress ink. And it's more of a chalky look than the actual distress inks. Um, and you can do lots and lots with these inks. So I'm going to just stick that down there. Let's just add a little bit to this bit. Look at this. Round edges. I'm going to just stick them down. I'm going to stick it with my um, tacky glue or white glue or whatever you glue you like to use make sure it's a really good one for sticking down paper so let's just stick that on there loving these collage pieces um, they are just some random lovely random sort of bits of collage paper and I've got them in my shop and I've got them in sort of like um, pages with um, sort of all blues and all pinks and things like that so you can just print one page off at a time um, with the right colour that you wanted to use so they are really handy so what was I going to do shall we put this one or was I going to put that maybe I'll ink this up a little bit I just wanted to use I'm going to pop this little flower one so I'm going to just sort of like give this like a little um pop of pink just a little pop, pop of color seeing i've got a green one and a blue one so i'm going to just add a little pop of color and this is some of the lovely papers that we made before i'm just gonna just rip these bits off pop that on there like that let's just stick this down got some other little pinky sort of bits I think this one will probably go better this is just fabric I've had this for ages I bought this it was a top out of a charity shop when I went to the UK and that was a long long time ago um, that was when my grandson was born and he is three so it's been around for a little while so I'm just going to stick that on there Pop that over the top. And where was this one? That's what I was going to use on there. Like that. So let's stick this one down. Oops, I don't want to use my Fabri Tech. Do a little bit of this. loving my vintage at the moment and also collaging because I think you can use up all your papers and bits and pieces as well I know this is a collage pack um, but it's a great idea for people that don't have lots of stash and lots of bits of paper so I'm going to put which way around I'm going to put the little flower on there I think so let's have a little bit more of this just around the edge I think let's just trim this off and have a little bit of this down the side it's a bit of fabric tack just stick that on just so it pops out the side like that and I might that's what else have I got up here it's got a little bit we could put a little bit of cheesecloth I haven't I don't want the open one this is the one I want because you can see the two different ones which but I like this one here let's just pop a little bit of this in there as well and call that up pop that underneath I think 
oopsie daisy just a little bit of glue down there tuck that in oops just there like that ink around this a little bit more I think I've got a bit of glue on there nice now I'm going to pop this with fabric type because it's going to go over some of the fabric on there I'm just going to go around the edge with a fabric tack and then I'm going to go in the middle with a little bit of the tacky glue like that. oops pop it up the right way I think that looks really lovely so I'm going to pop that on there I'm going to use now on this one I've used a little bit of tape on here but I didn't use it on that one um, so it's entirely up to you whether you like the tape I did add a little bit of tape on here I'm quite liking my tape at the moment so I'm going to just use this bits of cotton everywhere this tape is just um, it's like a paper tape um, it's not shiny. Um, I got this from a shop in um, Spain, an online shop in Spain, but I do believe I popped a link on the Amazon storefront for it as well. So let me just, I'm going to pop just a bit on there. So some people like this tape and some people don't. So if you don't like it, you don't obviously don't pop it on. Um, but I'm quite liking it at the moment. Just going to stick that like that. I think it makes it look very vintage. Take these little bits off. I'm going to then just stick that on there with a little bit of a fabric tack. Just around there. Now again, you can sew around it if you wanted to, um, and that will give it just that extra little bit of texture on there. So make sure that sticks down. Now I've got a little bundle of all sorts of bits and pieces in here. So I've got these big little, big little, I've got these um, little diamantes on here, which are lovely. And I just think it finishes it off perfect. Let's just make sure that's stuck down. Pop a nice big blob of fabric tack in here. And that will just take a little while just to, to um, dry. But look at that. I think that looks really, really lovely. And it's perfect for on the top of your journals or cards. I think that makes a beautiful journal cover, not cover, a topper. So you can make lots of these and um, have a nice little stash. So when you make your nice journals, you've already got your um, topper to put on top. So there we go, guys. That's a very quick and easy. So you can use up all your little bits, all your lovely bits of paper that you use. You can even sort of like stamp onto this. If you've got some word stamps, you could stamp on there and have your own little word on there which would look really nice um, these are the other two using up the little flowers so the last couple of um, videos we've done we did the little flowers we did the backing papers as well um, so it's using what we've had before that we've made and I think they look absolutely gorgeous and then we've got the little tag and the little booklet made from them as well so there we go guys thank you so so much for joining me um please stay safe take care of yourselves and i'll see you all soon bye bye